everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Carolyn here from Never Perfect Resin. Okay, so I know there's not many of you, but for those that have been subscribed and that has possibly and have have possibly seen my stag video from last holiday season, my complete and total epic fail. Remember that guy? He's getting linked down below. So please take a look if you want to see how somebody, i.e. me, can completely and totally ruin a piece of resin. So I decided I haven't touched this mold since then. And what perfect time other than the holidays to try this guy again. So this is going to be attempt number two. Let's see if I can make a successful resin piece with this gorgeous stag mold. And we're going to get into it. So exciting, you guys. We're going to try this. All right. That glitter is called literally White Christmas. I'm just going to put a tiny, 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 tiny bit in this little cup of resin. I've di divided my resin into two cups. This is strictly for the antler area. And then I've just got some regular clear resin for the body area. And yep, not doing that by accident. That was on purpose. I was like, not going to be mad if there was a little bit of glitter throughout that body, throughout that chest cavity of that stag. So I've mixed in this glitter and I'm going to pour all of that into the antler area. And then that's my clear glitter. That's going to go in the body area. All right. So let's go ahead and start pouring all of that situation. And I've got my decal ready to go. So that guy's going to go in. So we are just doing layer number one here. And please excuse me because I'm trying. It is crazy how difficult it is to like look in the camera situation and pour at the same time. Like this is something it's like, wow, I am definitely still not used to this. I'm, I am getting there. I mean, actually kind of proud of the work I'm doing right now. Look at that. Yeah, cool. I mean, this is obviously a voiceover. I am wearing uh, my respirator while I do this in real time. So definitely uh, real time talking isn't an option for this one. Uh, usually it, it isn't um, just because I do make sure to have my PPE on while I'm actually pouring the resin. So I always just think the voiceovers are just going to be better for my whole little situation. So here's my little decal guy, and he is going to go in. Let me get him off of the paper. Okay, there we go. All right. Now he is going to go in and definitely kind of trying to flood that decal a little bit. I'm so bad at the uh, quote unquote flooding the stickers or decals, vinyl, whatever you're putting into your resin. It's just a safeguard against air bubbles that get stuck underneath and that kind of thing. But I also really love this little tool that I'm using. It's literally just a flat spoon that I'm pretty sure came from like a frozen yogurt place. <laughs> yeah. But it is perfect for smoothing things out, making sure all the air bubbles are gone. We're good to go. Okay, so this is the next day. Now look at this glitter. Loving it so much. This is quintessential, in my opinion, a quintessential perfect winter holiday glitter. We see like the blue and the whites and the opals for like wintry snow. There's some red in there. To, it's going to match perfectly with that red snowflake decal that I have. I mean, I am loving this glitter so much. So this is going to be the antlers. And I am just literally going to pour the entire situation in here. 
and we're going to be good to go with that. So all of that glitter went in and now for the body, I'm just doing Armor Art White Epoxy Pigment, nice and opaque, easy peasy. Mixed that up and we are pretty much ready to pour our Mr. Majestic number two, Stag. <laughs> so here we go. We are pouring, pouring, pouring. Starting with a little bit of the white and then coming in with the glitter for the antlers. And you guys, let's just watch. See, look how amazing I am at pouring into small crevices. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? <laughs> I'm making such a mess. Oh my good. I didn't realize that it was going to be so, I mean, I really packed the glitter in there, but oh my gosh, this was like really difficult to do. I was realizing I probably should have put it in a syringe or something, but anyway, all good. Uh, I got there at the end of the day, so and I'm just going to keep on pouring that white. And I know I'm so kind of gutted about the decal floating up a little bit. You can see it on the bottom right corner there where it kind of floated up. So fingers crossed that this guy is going to look okay when we demold. So let's see because it's happening right now, 24 hours later. Here we go. We are demolding. Mr. Stag, Mr. Holiday, Majestic. We love him, hopefully. Well, you know what? No matter what, I'm going to love him more than I loved the failure that was last holiday season, okay? So, <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, I am very excited about this guy. Uh, definitely excited to see how he looks. Okay, so he is coming out slowly but surely. It's not even difficult to unmold. I'm just so worried about, I don't know, breaking the antlers. Uh, that I think I was worried about that. So anyway, I was doing it a little slowly, but oh my goodness, look. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful Mr. Stag. Beautiful man. Oh, look at him. Oh, I am so excited. Well, you know what? I think if anything, I can say this year, this stag mold has been a success. And it has definitely restored my faith in wanting to use it again. <laughs> so super, super exciting. Let's go outside and get some still shots and look, see how it looks in the sun. Thank you. 